What are the worst rated home builders in Austin? Jeremy Knight, the Knight Group, your favorite Austin realtor. You know, I've asked you several times what you've wanted to hear, and you want to hear about builders and new communities. So we're going to do that in this video. But we're going to talk about maybe some of the worst rated builders. Uh, I'm going to go through and give you a list of kind of the tiers of, of builders that are in Austin. We're also going to talk about some of my favorite builders in Austin. And then we're going to go through the list of maybe not the best builders. And we'll talk about how some of those ratings may be a little skewed. Okay, so let's talk about the tiers of builders. You know, typically when we're looking at builders, you're going to have builders that are 300 and below in the Austin area. 300 to 500 and then 500 plus and so we usually break these up into three different tiers I don't know if every realtor does it, but I know I do it So let's start off with our tier one, which is gonna be our below 300 now usually with these builders You're not gonna get as many variations and upgrades, right? They're gonna have pretty much like a preset packet for each home um, And that's kind of how they roll So that's what keeps the costs down on some of these, you know You'll have some nice upgrades like granite countertops things like that But there's really not a whole lot you can upgrade in the home Home. So that would be like LGI homes, Lennar, KB, DR Horton, Paysetter. You know, those are in that 300 below price range, and really you're not going to get a ton of different variations. It's more of a kind of stamp and go style homes, um, but some of them make really good quality builds. So let's talk about the next tier, which I like to call my level two tier. You know, this is gonna be a level up. It's between 300 and 500. Yes, you're gonna get a few more options. So you'll be able to pick out, you know, a level one to a level five countertop. You'll be able to pick out a different backsplash and things like that, but that also is gonna cause your price to go up. So a builder like that would be Meritage, Milestone, Pulte, Builders like that, that are right in that middle tier, um, you know, it's nice that you do get some more options, but you end up paying more for those options. And so that's what keeps you in that three to 500 range. Now let's talk about our level three tier. A lot of these builders, you're gonna get more options. You're gonna get to pick a different lot in a different area. You're gonna pay more for those lots. So that's why these prices are 500 plus. I would say this tier would be like a Highland Home, Perry Home, Drees, you know, there's, there's good and bad builders in all of these tiers. Um, it's just, you know, the price point of these tiers. So let's talk about some of my favorite builders. Now, look, this doesn't mean that they're the best builders in town. It's just ones that I've had good experience in the past and my clients have had good experience with. I don't get any <laughs> promotion dollars for talking about these builders. So don't think that I'm getting a paid endorsement or this is a paid endorsement. It's not. All right, first up, let's talk about one of my favorites. One I've actually purchased, so if that says anything, uh, and that is a milestone build. I, I purchased a home as, in South Austin as an investment property. So um, I think overall they're a great builder, a good quality builder in my opinion. The good thing about milestone is you can get things in there, you know, kind of in that low 300s, 200 range, up to that kind of 500 mark but they have a good variety of product. You get some different upgrades in there, so you can pick and choose what you really want in this. Sticky with Milestone, let's check out their Level Up, which is the M Signature. This is gonna be more of their luxury line, so it's gonna be their 500 plus. One of my favorite communities that M Signature has is actually the Grove. You know, starting price points in here is gonna be in the 500s for kind of a one bedroom, one bath. You can find a beautiful, beautiful home up to 1.3, 1.4 million. And then they do have more custom builds in the 2.5 million. This is absolutely one of my favorite communities to be in. Um, just the area, they're gonna have shopping, they're gonna have uh, retail, they're gonna have a lot of really great things in this community, plus parks. So the Grove, uh, I could do a whole video on The Grove and how awesome The Grove is, but I just want to throw it in here and talk about M Signature because they do have some other floor plans up in the Saul's Ranch uh, in the 500 range, which is in North Austin, so it's a good place to look. All right, next up on my list is one that's actually my favorite. I've actually almost built a home in here a couple of times, and that's with Highland Homes. Um, I really do love their product. They make beautiful single story floor plan. Uh, I think it's really hard in Austin to find a good single story floor plan uh, because really there's not a lot of space. A lot of these builders are trying to make the lots a lot smaller. So 
you get more two-story floor plans. So their single-story floor plans are fantastic. Uh, you can find them in High Point, which really is one of my favorite communities. You're gonna be in the kind of 500 to 700 price point in there. Uh, and they have a lot of different communities all over Austin, but I think for the quality of build and what you get, Highland is probably one of my favorite builders in the Austin area. Now let's talk about what you came here to hear, and that is the worst builders in Austin. Now, keep in mind, there are people that when they go and they have a bad experience with a builder, maybe it was a small issue, they tend to make it a bigger issue and they write a lot of negative things. So you ha kind of have to look at the quality of build of a home and kind of look at the feedback from people. And if you see a common theme going, then pay attention to the common thing. So um, I found this list, it actually took me a while to find this list. Um, I don't fully agree with some of their ratings to, per se, but I feel some of these builders are kind of justified just in my experience and my client's past experience of their ratings. So I found this on Consumer Affairs. Now, if you look at the top of this list, they have accredited partner builders. Now, I've never built anything with Home Advisor, so I don't know anything about this builder, to be honest with you. Same thing with Clayton Homes. I haven't built anything with Clayton Homes. But then you drop into KB Homes, LGI, accredited partners, and they got a pretty high score. Now, my experience doesn't match up with this rating, if you know what I'm saying, but um, I wonder what it takes to become a accredited partner with Consumer Affairs. Um, the filtering of some of these, I, I don't know. So that's up to you. You read through the comments and you, you tell me what, what you feel. DR Horton, they got a one and a half star. You know, DR Horton's one of those really fast production builders, so I could see where people might not be happy with them. Um, I don't think they make a terrible product. I think that, you know, they do build fast, so keep that in mind. Um, Woodside Homes, I've never heard of them, so don't know. Lennar, I mean, I have had clients that haven't had the best experience with Lennar. Um, yeah, uh, Ryan Homes, I've never built with them. Dan Ryan home builder, haven't worked with them. Meritage Homes, you know, I just said nice things about Meritage. Um, you know, maybe people have had different experience than what I've had based on this, but um, yeah, let's scroll down and see if there's anything else to talk about. Um, you know, I said nice things about Pulte. This has a one star. MI Homes, one and a half stars. Toll Brothers, I've actually had good experience with Toll Brothers, but maybe other people haven't. Never heard of Richmond. Breezer, none of these, yeah, most of these I haven't. Perry Homes, see, I said nice things about Perry Homes, two stars. So, Brookfield Residential, that's kind of shocking. They're really good. Even Highland, when I just talked about how much I like. So, there you go. You gotta do your own research to see if the home builder is the right fit for you. But uh, based on this, some of these have pretty uh, bad ratings. I would go ahead and read through the comments to get an idea. And if you are thinking about buying a new build, definitely talk to your realtor and make sure you know, their opinion on that builder. Jeremy Knight, the Knight Group, thank you so much for joining this channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you love this video, share it with a friend. Thank you so much and have a great day.